What an incredible performance by the Bruins tonight in game one. This was spectacular. Jeremy Swayman remains to be a brick wall back there. 38 saves on 39 shots against. He was fantastic. And it wasn't just gimmies. Within the first minute of the game, he makes an amazing save to keep it 0-0. Swayman was just locked in yet again. And if you're a Bruins fan, that is spectacular news. Now, in the first period, you would have some back and forth. And I would say the score doesn't really showcase how well the Panthers played in stretches. Like, there was some good moments for the Panthers where they had at least around 40 seconds plus a few times in a row in the Bruins' end. So I thought overall the Panthers, with some tweaks, will be fine. The Panthers would strike first. Terrible turnover in the Bruins defensive zone. Bark off over to Kachuk. Kachuk's shot goes right off Lindholm's skate and full Swayman. Panthers midway through the second period go up 1-0. But the Bruins would respond very quickly. Pasta feeds it over to Zaka. Zaka driving to the net. Bob's kind of on the ice after that initial save. Morgan Geeky buries home the loose puck. We got ourselves a tied game 67 seconds later. But a few minutes later, Later. Bruins would get on the board yet again. Mason Lorai with an absolute snipe. Very little space to put this puck and he rips it right over the shoulder of Bobrovsky. The Bruins go up 2-1 and then they would keep their boot on the neck of the Panthers. Brandon Carlo, the man who had his son born today, flies down to Florida just in time to get on the ice with an absolute snipe. Some traffic in front. Florida defender has Marshawn wrapped up but that took away Bob's eyes. Bruins go up 3-1, and that was a relative quick succession of goals. We would go into the third period. Matthew Kachuk had a golden opportunity to make it a 3-2 game, but he just misses wide. Stage 3-1, and then Justin Brezzo, a guy who recently was playing in the ECHL with an absolute beauty of a move, good power move, great finish over Bob. Bruins go up 4-1. Bruins would defensively lock it down after that. Jake DeBrus would eventually get an empty net goal and score 5-1. This is the type of performance you needed from the Bruins. I know they won 5-1 against the Maple Leafs in game one of the first round. This was their best performance of the playoffs. They responded well. They didn't panic. I felt the transition in the defensive zone was a lot better. I'm hoping the Bruins can keep up this type of play because if they do, maybe they shocked the world this season. And as for the floor Florida Panthers, it's just one game, and you had some good moments out there that you can build upon, but they're going to need to find a way to get pucks past Swayman. Whether it's screens, rebounds, etc., they need to shake his confidence because right now, Swayman is playing at a completely different level. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Who impressed you the most in this game? I'll see you in the next one.